Hey, welcome to Wait Oval for this Premier Grade match, Adelaide University versus Woodville. Uh, we're about oh, about five minutes in. The uni have scored a uh, early try over in the right corner to uh, the young fullback, uh, Mark Cross. We're here with Ed Alderson from, uh, my name's Jared Shea from Adelaide University, uh, here with Ed Alderson from Woodville. Yeah, Welcome, good to Ed. be here with you, Jared. Yeah, no, good to be here, mate. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of, of my old stomping ground back in the UK. <laughs> this, uh, the rain's coming down yep. fairly heavily here this uh, this afternoon. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, actually the pitch is not in not too bad a condition. It certainly can get a lot worse than this if we have uh, if, when we have a lot more rain. So it's actually holding up quite nicely. But yes, it is very wet and and slippery out there. So it certainly will be a very tight game in terms of uh, whoever can hold the ball the best is probably going to do well, uh, go, go a fair way to win Absolutely. the game. Absolutely. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be uh, a little bit of a battle of attrition. Yep. Um, and there's some points there from Woodville. Uh, yeah, so Kyle Witcher just nodding that over. Kyle Witcher. And uh, so we have Adelaide University 5, Woodville 3. University to take the restart. One of the things that uh, I've noticed across across the grades today, um, obviously uni worked pretty hard. I think at the breakdown, you know, yep. um, just watching them over the ball, they've been pretty good all day, and, yep. and, and it's sort of you know the tone's been set quite early in the first sort of five or ten minutes here. Yep. That absolutely that sort of battle of the shoulders in the tight yep. is uh, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah. It's going to go a long way to deciding the outcome of the game, Absolutely. I think. Absolutely. That's where the game's won and lost, as we all know, uh, at the breakdown. If you uh, can't win your own ball, then you're not going to see a lot of it. And uh, well, there's an error there by Uni, you knock on. So that will be a scrum down to Woodville, just uh, just inside their 22 there. Um, yeah, but I, I know that's something that that's, it's been a strong focus uh, for the last couple of years uh, with Peter uh, Snoop Jackson as head coach um, of, uh, you know, uh, our positioning, our technique, and uh, and work at the breakdown is has certainly been a focus. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, yeah, this is an area where you know the scrums of which we're probably going to see plenty today, Jared. Yes. I, I would envisage. <laughs> uh, it's going to be know, a forwards game. The uh, the free flowing rugby that uh, yeah. that perhaps is is going to be more of a uh, spectacle for the guys tuning in online. Uh, so, uh, exit there by Woodville, taken by Max Ross. Uh, Number 15 for University, off to Liebers. Brave Liebers making some good metres there. Evading a few would-be tacklers. Nice little short ball there from Westcar, off to Onions. And uh, Tim Cooper, number eight, just takes it in. And places it out. George Caratius, number five for Uni, takes a, gets a few metres. Off to Clark. Liebers there at outside centre and uh, Sonnenberg on the wing. He's got some wheels on him, Sonnenberg, and uh, yeah, he's made some good metres there, although he's uh, Woodville defence have put him into touch. So good good cover defence there by uh, by the Woodville team. Yeah, had to had to work hard, Kyle, to get across there. But, uh, mm. you know, he's got he's got gas for days, which yeah. uh, which kept him in good stead there. Yeah, that was very good scramble. Nice um, to see the ball in the uh, in the outside channels, yeah, uh, yeah. which, you yeah. know, is... Uh, Hopefully, yep. if that so rain just dies off a little bit, we should see the, yep. the ball moved out to the uh, yep. out to the backs a little bit more. Both teams aren't aren't, aren't afraid of uh, using the width, even despite the weather conditions. So, you know, let's uh, see how they go. So line out now, just uh, around the Woodville 22. Good catch and set. I'm just going to hit it up on the first phase. Yep. It's a strong That's carry there. Sam Stewart carrying well. Tim so Savas just Woodville digging around, trying to get the ball out. Another nice little, little carry there, just uh, getting just getting over the the gain line. And um, I would think that Woodville are setting for an exit here, although they're quite happy just to keep uh, taking those couple of metres over the over the uh, advantage line. Yeah, and keeping keeping ball in hand. That's right. Here comes the exit from Kyle. He's going to try and nudge the corners. So a decent kick. It's all about the yep. chase now. Yep. Kicks only as good as its chases, right. and uh, oh, he's got some space there. Oh no, but just uh, pushed his luck a little bit too much, going too close to the sideline. Needed to come in. 
but uh, in, 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 in a good field position uh, university, uh, it will be Woodville throw into the line-out. He's had a couple of good takes early on there. You're 15, is it Mark Ross? Max, Max Ross, yeah. Uh, Max um, Ross, uh, yeah. Actually, it could be Mark. But, um, no, yeah, you're right, it is Mark Ross. <laughs> um, Thank goodness for yeah, a big explorer. I, I Jared, think it, you know, that's... <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> but, that we can know the names of our own team players. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's he's uh, he's had a good taken a few good takes there and uh, and had a few good runs with the ball. Yeah. So good carry, carry there by Sorrell. The players over Sorrell the ball. Venter. Timmy's just going to pick and go from nine. Forwards are there in support. Need someone to take ownership at the back of that. Stan Stewart's just going to go around the corner. And Mason Connor getting his hands on the ball there. Again, just to pick around the corner. It's a little bit happy just to keep, okay. uh, keep picking and driving, just get, just taking those couple of metres each time and just keeping ball in hand. Yeah, another good carry by Sam. Yeah, Rook looks good from uh, from Woody's. Defence is pretty solid, though, so far from yep. uh, from Uni, just in and around yep. the tight. And, yeah, as I think we alluded to earlier, this is probably going to be a little bit of a fixture of the game, that, that battle in the tight. Yes. Yes, uh, uh, amongst the piggies, for uh, for want of a better phrase. The uni player over that ball, but I think, I think it was cleaned out nicely there by the uh, the Woodville player. So they've uh, retained possession. Here comes uh, young Will Smith. Oh. Ooh, it's a little high. Uh, although I think he may have been playing advantage uh, for an earlier uh, offside. Um, yeah, so there's probably going to be a bit of a chat here. Yeah, I imagine. touch judge Dan McDowell is. Uh, He's uh, saying something to the referee. Um, it was a high shot there. Yeah. In fairness but, um, to, uh, to Will, is it Will Smith? Will Smith, yeah. Um, I almost threw in a, a Fresh Prince reference there, but I managed to, uh, <laughs> to, to would, avoid it. You, would, you, wouldn't have been the, you wouldn't have been the first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Will Smith's one of our uh, first year uh Seniors but coming up from juniors from last year, so yeah, got a number of uh, number of young players in this Premier Grade team who have come through our junior ranks. We've got Will Smith at 11, young Benny Thomas, number 10, uh, who's again first his first year out of juniors, and uh, we'll see our there at number six or seven, six. Yeah, so and it's, uh, it's good to see. Yeah, yeah. So we certainly uh, uh, bit by bit we're getting more and more of them coming through. There's West Car over that ball there. I think he might have got. Yeah, he's got yeah. that. Yeah, he's uh, he's got hands on, and uh, it was he was very very quick to react there, West Car. That was very sharp reflexes. Thought about the quick tap, but uh, yeah, played the played the percentages. Yeah. Just got a nudge as, as all as all good nines do. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I think we all uh, when we're in and amongst it, we get our hands on the ball. We think, oh, I could go, That's I right. could go here, but uh, yeah, get that blood rush to the head. That's and, right. Uh, but he managed to. To keep keep a level head on it yeah, and, and play yeah, the right uh, the yeah, right percentages. It's a smart so. thing to do. Put it into the sideline for a line out, uh, probably only I don't know, a bit, just over ten metres out. Yeah. So the good news for the guys that are out there is uh, the rain has stopped. Touch wood. Yes. Nice uh, hopefully ball we might the see a bit more uh, freer flowing and, and running rugby with ball in hand and less uh, less scrums. Yeah, absolutely. So Ooh, got, that's a, oh, oh he's still not on the volley. A, he's a little bit unorthodox, but it could work out for him. No, I don't think he's got that. It doesn't it look like a, he got it, was it a, down. He tried the, the long ball, and it was it always hit its mark. It just was a little bit too far in front of uh, Sonnenberg there, and so he, he took the option of putting his foot to it and almost paid off. they will fly hack. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it did almost work out. It's one of those awkward ones when it's just you think, can I get my hands to it? Yeah, yeah, you know, no, no, yeah, it's a, yeah. But it almost worked out okay. But I can but definitely get my foot to it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Uh, but it looks like you yeah, might have just. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen you just put through the hands a bit more there rather than trying the big long money ball out to the out to the winger. That's. Uh, yep. Was always going to be risky. Yeah, it did look like they just had a couple of man overlap there, yeah, but they uh, had the, had didn't the use it on this occasion. But. Uh, so this is where you'd expect Woody's to be. Uh, I mean, obviously I don't know a huge amount about the, uh, Ooh, the Uni nice scrum. Chip there. That's a big. That's, that's a Kyle. Could work out another fly hack. Here we go back down there, and he's over that ball, and 
Uh, the ref says play on. Uh, That's a little bit high. It's see how it takes it in for a, has a carry and we've got Timmy Cooper, the, uh, the captain of uh, the team, taking a solid hit up there. Off down to Sheiky. Sheiky staying on his feet for a period of time and uh, before going to ground. Max Muzzerud, and I think he might be calling a high shot there. Yeah, there was yep. a little bit of uh, uh, high initial contact. Let's see the replay. Yeah, just a little bit high, just crept up. Nothing yeah, too uh, no. too dangerous, but you know the the laws are in there. Yep. in in place for a reason. Quite clear. Uh, that, uh, yeah, yeah. Certainly, if it hits above the chest. Uh, that will be called high, and that was certainly just around the shoulders there. So like Uni are going to go for the three points. Yeah, so he's just uh, just past the 10 metre line. Tricky conditions mm. underfoot. This will uh, this will lead a good leg. Now, yeah, just looking at the score here on our monitors, I, I think I'm pretty sure Woodville are three, aren't they? Yeah, Did we're, they, do, they we're doing ourselves penalty? a disservice there. there. You go. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Uh, thanks, score man. The Midas touch there, just giving us the three points mm. that uh, that Kyle's boot rightly uh, rightly yeah, earned for us. So, but a chance to cancel out that three here. As I say, it's uh, a little bit tricky underfoot, but uh, so he's going to need a good leg here. But see how he goes. And the strike's good. Yeah, it's a good got good contact on that. No, it's just gone just wide. It's just gone to the left, and uh, Woodville are going to uh, run it out and, and exit. So now back to young Will Smith for a your nice, another good solid carry by the young fella. Just wrapped up there by yeah, uh, Jason Wilshire. Quite, He's, um, just fell a bit awkwardly there and uh, probably couldn't get a good placement. Like but uh, Tim Cooper's gonna gonna take some take charge here and uh, a couple of good pick and goes. Certainly, been, all been playing down in. Um, in Woodville's 22. That's right. So far, but uh, Uni have had good position, uh, field position, but haven't been able to capitalise with points um, too much. Yeah, and that's the uh, that's the key. Uni will be thinking, you know, let's just keep applying this pressure. Yeah. And uh, yeah. hopefully the uh, right. they can get through the line or Owen Potter's over the, the ball there. The thing is, when you get yeah. into that position, is to stay there. That's right. Yeah. Ball, it's scrappy there. Ball bouncing. All over the, all over That's the place. That's a great counter. Uh, is that Owen Potter? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So it's yeah, That's a called a incorrect entry. Oh, I believe that might have been James Sheiky from Uni. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was a very, yeah, yeah, very, very solid counter. Oh, yeah. yeah no, and he's called that uh, incorrect uh, side entry there from uh, number two, which I think might be Karanda. Yeah, yeah, so Woody's have managed to absorb a little bit of that pressure there. Uh, they've just, for the first time in, in what feels like a pretty long time, we've managed to uh, just tiptoe into the uh, the uni half. Yep. And Mason Connor will just be uh, in front of us here, thrown into the line out. Somewhere, you know, the set piece is something that we've worked pretty hard on in, in training the boys. Uh, that's going to be commentator's curse, no doubt. But uh, <laughs> yeah, line out and scrums yeah. are, are the bread and butter that we, uh, yep. we like to try and build a platform from. Absolutely. So we'll see Absolutely. how we go. And that's certainly a, a good idea. Yeah, so if pretty you good. Can't win your set piece, then again you're not going to get much ball. So much the same as the as the work at the breakdown. Yeah. Number James twenty Martin's there. Broken away. He's not got much support. There's a little well, knock on there. Unfortunately, that was well spotted by number twenty. To see that, to identify that space and then take it himself. It's a looks like a little knock on there by Woodville. So we'll have yet another scrum. Uh, uni ball. Uh, just uh, 10 metres into uni's half. So for those regular um, viewers that are then tuning into the live stream who may have been expecting Gerard uh, Bluey Byrne to be on, on commentary today. Uh, unfortunately, Bluey's not with us. Um, and he's actually he was talking to me about his, his recently developed fear of, uh, fear of escalators. <laughs> but he did tell me that he's taking steps to avoid them. So... Um, <laughs> That's for you, Bluey. Right. 
a customary uh, uh, dad joke. Yes. Um, uh, it, well, what would a rugby live stream be without it? That's it, mate. Yeah. That's it. Um, I'm sure, it's all worked out with the best now. We've got you in the in the driver's seat there. Well, too, with, uh, um, we, 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 feel, we feel very privileged. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently they've not rolling and away, Woody's. Owen's uh, not particularly yeah. happy about the decision, but... Uh, Let me chat with the ref. You've never had a referee yeah. uh, change their minds, Jared. No, that, no, uh, that no. doesn't happen very often. Pretty sure it's uh, it's never happened. It's unprecedented. Um, and if it has happened, it would be, uh, it would be a huge shock. Yes, to them it, all. It, it certainly would. But... Um, That's a good leg. Anyway... Fortunately, Woody will have uh, had a couple of opportunities to get themselves out of their their red zone, but uh, just a few little errors and um, and uh, it, it, lapses of discipline that have uh, put them back in this position. Uh, Uni haven't really, at this stage, show, uh, looked like breaking breaking Woodville's defensive line in this position. So that's uh, certainly thumbs up to Woodville in terms of their their defence. A good line out the That's a nice ball. Moving it through the hands. We've got Rafe Liebers there go. coming in outside centre. Nice strong run there. Oh, there's some good Great ball tackle. movement here. Nice little pop from Liebers up to Ross. Looks like Uni are going to go. And uh, Woodville have held up, held Uni up there over the line. So good, line good scrambling defence again there by Woodville. That's uh, certainly saved uh, almost a certain try there by. Uh, either Liebers or actually Max Ross, Mark Ross, I mean, when uh, looked like he was, he was looking uh, like he might score and um, Woodville defence have held him out. And then some nice scrambling defence to hold Uni up there, so that'll be a goal on dropout to Woodville. Yeah, credit to uh, Henry Leaflang there. Uh, back in at 15, we haven't seen Henry in uh, the course of the season, really. I think he's been yeah. travelling. Um, yeah, so it's good to have him back kick, for the last few games. Kick hasn't really penetrated uh, the university as, uh, half, but Liebers is now taking another good hit up there. There's a, there's a good little attempt at the at a jackal there by a Woodville player, but didn't quite get his hands on it. Yeah, so not uni away. certainly uh, pulled. Pull. Another, another penalty there. Uni certainly stringing the phases together. I just have to be patient here. And that might be held up yet again. Yeah, so discipline's costing Woodville a bit here. Yeah, they want to be careful here not to not to give away too many and end up with a card. Yep. Oh, he's done well to hold on to it. Yeah, that, that was a that was a little bit of a hospital pass there from Westcar to, to Liebers, but Liebers has done well to uh, to hold the ball. Not really sure. Everyone's just hard to see it. where the ball Do actually is it? at the moment. Do you want it? I don't want it. Do you want it? <laughs> So it looks like it's still with Uni. It's a good long pass there, but Westcar off to... Oh, it's, it's, looks like Uni have made an error here. So that's a... They've let Woodville off the hook. Yeah, it was a bit scrappy in there, Jared. Yeah, very, very. Easy to just sort of overplay it a little bit, especially yeah, in these yeah, conditions. Yeah. You know, well, you almost mm. want to take a step back, slow it down a bit, and just go through the phases. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Easy from here, of course. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah exactly. That's exactly what we would have done. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, I don't think there's any debate yeah. in that. Uh, certainly from this commentary box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yep, yeah, like you say, once you get yourself in that position, you just want to stay there, and it doesn't matter if it takes you 50 phases to to eventually get the ball over the line. Just you want to keep keep ball in hand and just keep stringing the phases together. So I think Not overplay really, your hand. That's right. As I say, easy, easy from here, isn't it, mate? Yeah, that's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never, I've never been known to oh. get white light fever, white line fever, and no. You know, no, it's difficult to have, have that a discipline. Bl rush of blood to the head. Yeah, so Tim just uh, knocks it out just past yeah. the twenty-two. Just a shout out to the officials today. So, um, in the uh, in the centre, we've got David Gunning, the gun. Um, Magnum 45 or whatever I call it. So Dan McDowell is uh, another one of the uh, the touchies. And uh, on the far side from us, we've got Bosey Brown. So uh, obviously, 
Yeah, rugby can't go ahead without these guys uh, stepping yeah. into the void and, uh, and making these games happen, and that's across Absolutely. all events, you know, so. And what can be a very tough gig at times. Uh, it, it, yes, an unenviable task yeah, they have, actually, yeah, at right. times. Uh, really one of the hardest games in the world to ref. Yeah. Looks like he's, um, did he end up in touch there? I think he did. Yeah. Uh, the Woodville player. Much to he the did. dismay of the, uh, the Woodies continuing to our he, left. Um, he did make a good play at it there, trying to keep the ball in the field of play. Yeah, I don't forgot the replay. I'm not sure if his foot might have hit the line. There's Jake Connor, just taking a couple of deep, big deep breaths before the, uh, the next phase. A little bit of a chat between the officials. Yeah, so possibly just a little bit... Uh, a little bit too vocal there, so we just need to, to make sure we're sticking to the values of the game. Tommy Price is uh, in amongst the conversation. Okay, so no, not, uh, not, not sure, sure what's going on. Not, not sure what the what the topic of that conversation was, but uh, looks like it's all sorted, and we're back to doing what we what we want to see, and that is some rugby. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. <laughs> Nice carry there. By number seven for Uni. So again, they've got those numbers out on the right there, Uni, if they send it. Ooh, Palmer. Oh, and they've just uh, ended up in touch yet again, Uni. So certainly using the width, but uh, yep. just pushing the luck a little bit too much and, and, and I think going a little bit too wide too early. Um, again, we've the intense there. Yeah, that's the right. But uh, to, to move the ball. you know, there's no point shifting it wide if uh, you're going to end up over the sideline. As uh, we as we say in the coaching world, the sidelines never miss a tackle. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's very true. Very <laughs> One of true. my favourite little cliches. That's that, right. Uh, the kids get uh, sick of me saying, "Oh, immortal." So it looks like he's well, potentially yeah. Sorrell's just grounded that in goal Grand prior yeah. to uh, prior to Uni diving on it. So there's a short kick off. This is risk and reward stuff. And Ooh, Brandon and Tui, nice, yeah, nice little. He's looking for support. Break it looks there. like he's off his feet there, the ten. But uh, has he given it? Well, there's a turnover there to Uni. Uh, he was a little. He found himself isolated there. Made a nice little break there. The the winger from Woodville. So uh, there's knees down we've on the floor. We've got ourselves a mall here, I think. And Uni might find they'll yeah, it's get, have that'll be trapped in there, and uh, and that will be a scrum to Woodville. Yeah. Really good work there again by by Kyle Witch, who's yeah. going through some work. Absolutely. Um, unorthodox to do that sort of dirty work as a ten, but he doesn't mind it at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He got in there and held the ball up, and uh, Uni guilty there of just going into contact too high. And you're going too high. That's where the position you'll find yourself in. Yeah, so at the risk of sounding like a broken record, we're going to have another scrum. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just um, around 10 metres out or so from the, from the Woodville line, Tim Stavis is going to put it in. Uh, we'll, you'd imagine we're going to look for an exit here. So, yeah, real sort of arm wrestle yeah, so far, Jared. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, and, and all as being we anticipated, all, I think. Yeah, yeah, all being played down here in... in Woodville's 22. It's right. a very little. Uh, we've hardly seen the ball down in, in uh, the, uh, down at the other end. Yeah, we're going to end up with sore necks at this rate. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah. Everything's coming from the left hand side. Turning of our to our, we've point. been turning to our left the entire, entire game. Well, that's going to dip on him. Ooh, yeah. uh, that that was it. Yeah, but he's got a bit of time. Yeah, that's. Uh, he did so well not to chance. knock that on Will Smith. It, it's, uh, it was a t it was a very tough tough one to take. And there he's goes got, Son got, got Sonnenberg has, the right. uh, has take, cr taken some space there. Liebers is uh, making a break down the sideline. Right-hand sideline looks like he's going to he's be over and score the try on the right corner there, right side of Woodville's goal line. That was a nice little ball there from Sonnenberg. It was a beautiful little draw and pass. And uh, both, both Sonnenberg and Liebers have a very... Have got a serious set of wheels on him, and Levers is a very, very strong runner of the ball. Um, and yeah, did, he did, had a lot of work to do, Levers, from there for, to actually score that try. So you know, uh, thumbs up to him in terms of uh, the, the strength of his running and his evasion there. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's. Uh, and, um, I think Harrison uh, Harrison really came across there, and you know he did his job. You know, you've mm. got to you've got to. The, the danger is always the ball, so you've got yeah. to take the moment the ball. Yep, yep. If he, they work it outside after that, well, yeah, that's right. You know, um, yeah, absolutely. He did, he did what he had to do. You, you, he's your he's your first problem. That's right. The guy with the ball. Yeah, but it was finished that's well. It was a. Uh, well identified there by um, I think young Will Smith uh, from the from the goal line drop out to just send it wide and uh, identify that there was space out there that could be utilised. There's a that's a great kick. and that's a great, excellent kick by Ben Onion. So that uh, he adds the extras. Yeah, I don't think from so, a from a scoreline perspective, Jared, I don't think there can be too many arguments. No, uh, I think it's reflective of, of how the first yeah, half has uh, gone. Yeah, really. yeah, absolutely. In fact. Uh, Woodville's, def to, you know, all credit to Woodville's defence to have held them out for as long as they have. It's the, the entire game almost has been played down in the uh, in their 22 with uh, and Uni in possession. So the fact we've only got over twice um, is a testament to the, sh uh, the strength of Woodville's defence. Um, but finally, after what feels like a, a lifetime down there, uh, Uni have, have uh, managed to uh, get some points. Yeah, they got the rewards for their efforts. Um, probably, probably took a little bit longer to get there than, than Uni would have hoped. But mm. uh, yeah, like you say, credit to Woodies. They've yep. they've dug in there in the trenches, and it's uh, yeah. yeah, they've held them out for as long as they could. Woodville will look to try and play a bit more down this end. The nice little box kick there by Jay Westcar. He's gonna. Send it back. So, uh, Uni will be careful to sure they stay on side after that uh, and that kick. Looks like Onions is going to has had a solid carry up there to the halfway line. Nice little ball there, good ball there from Betty Thomas. We've got Timmy Timmy Cooper, solid carry, doing what he does best, and that's just hard yards. Uni are going to settle it down here with a couple of pick and goes by the looks of things. Caratius, another pick and go. Oh, you very carefully he doesn't find it. Well, that's a yeah, and that that's a yep. That's fair, fair game. He was he was isolated there. He didn't take anyone with him in that pick and go, and so he got what he deserved. Yeah, some good work again by Aaron Potter. Unfortunately, he just didn't have the support of his teammates to yeah. uh, to back him up there. Yeah, can't fault the individual effort from it. That's for sure. So Tim Starvis is coming up quite hard. 12's just danced around him. Carl's oh, going to take it on the... Now, this is, he's got legs. But we know this guy has as well at the back. <laughs> yep. Now, very, very good chase by uh, number 12. I think it was number 12 there for Woodville. Yeah, number 10, Kyle. Kyle really Richard. put... By 10, yeah. Really put the pressure on Sonnenberg, so... There's a little bit of a hint of a tip there. But a little bit of... Uh, okay. Back and forth here. We've ended going from one end to the other, which... Uh, it's good, at least it's not constantly down one end of the pitch. So just a change, actually, for, for Woodville, just uh, whilst uh, the last couple of minutes, so it looks like, I think, just looking down the pitch, Sam Stewart's just gone off, uh, potentially carrying a, a little bit of a knock. Uh, mm. And Wasi has come on for us. Got him registered in time. So we're, so we're not far off half time here, so this is Woodville's opportunity to perhaps put some points on the board. They're in good field position, and uh, and they'll probably get the. This uh, will be almost close to last play, so if they, uh, yeah, we go to the Uni. Got to be careful here. They've got to be disciplined here and not give away silly penalties and give uh, Woodville longer a longer bite at the cherry. Yeah, and Kyle's gone. To and looks the like posts. we're going to go to the yep the. Take the points while they're on offer, and why not? Um, this stage of the game, and it's still very close. Anyone's game, every every point is going to count. Yeah, pulls it back to within this, just that one score if he uh, if he does yep. it over. But it's there's there's no gimmies in uh, yep. with the conditions underfoot today. But Kyle will fancy uh, fancy this. I'm not sure what he's pinged him for here. He, he, he did have hands on ball. And he, uh, side entry, side right, yeah, entry that's the side entry, yeah. yeah. It wasn't quite square enough. So 
it's on its way. It looks it's pretty good. Good strike. And yep, yeah, it's through. Metal. So that'll narrow the gap there. 12 University, 6 Woodville. So still very much anyone's game. And uh, it should be a very interesting second half. Looks like we're going to have the restart. Yeah, uh, into, think, into red sign, but there's probably yeah, just there. I think the penalty was uh, awarded before the end of half time, so I, I will say this will be the last play. Yeah, both officials there just uh, checking their watches, so we must be uh, in and around the area of half time. So. so Mason Connor underneath that. Great take. Carried well, so Woody's are going to. Going to look to head it up a, a couple of phases, I would have thought. Tom Price is there in the first receiver position. Big Tommy. It's a nice carry there by the big fella. Clean out's just about okay. And they get the blind side through Mason to his brother, yeah, Jake. Yeah, good, good. that's good metres in, inside the, uh, their 50 hit there. So, Clean out's again, good again, Woodville are very happy just to play one out and uh, they're, they're taking those metres and while Uni... Keep letting him take those easy metres. Uh, why wouldn't you continue doing it? Harrison Moody doing the, uh, the hard Union, yards there. You need to certainly uh, get up off their line a bit better. This could work And that's out. come off the side of the boot there. And, uh, uh, go back for the penalty. Oh, no. Pulled back. Uh, yeah, it's, it's offside, fairly, I believe. Uh, Fairly subjective, the uh, the advantage rule, and uh, yeah, you could have said and mm. maybe played a little bit longer there. Yeah, who Woody's knows what could happen? Yeah, yeah. You got a sort of three on one, three on two out here. So every referee is different, and yeah. and, and certainly, you know, coming from the the northern hemisphere, it's uh, you know, it tends to play a little bit longer on the longer advantage. on the advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Not fan that of the right way or a wrong way. No. It's just interpretation. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm I'm certainly a big fan of. of Keeping the game flowing, so if you the longer you can, longer that you can play an advantage, uh, I think the better. Yep. Um, it's, it's always a uh, you know sometimes difficult to know exactly when enough's enough. Yeah, absolutely. So Mason's just taking his time here, getting a couple of big deep breaths in, getting himself ready to uh, to try and hit his man in the line out. I'll be interested to see. Uh, I mean, they're a little bit a little bit out, so they're probably going to play it off the top here. You would imagine a driving ball from the 10 meter would be quite something, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it pans out. Oh, it's gone long over the top there, but yeah, Woodville have secured it. So, a good field position there, just inside Uni's half. Good clean up. Oh, a nice pick and go there. No one home there for Uni at the post. So, oh, yeah, and they've, they've cleaned that up, so that's that's a good outcome there for Woodville. Someone needs to take ownership. Sorrel Venter's going to dive in and go around the corner. Yep. Nice little pick and go there. Another good pick and go. Oh, we've got to be careful. He doesn't, doesn't get himself isolated there. Timmy's but, tried to uh, clean it out, but I think he's got hands on it. No. That's fine. Again, no one home there uh, at, at the post for uni. Big Tommy's there if he wants it. Oh, he's in the side, is he? Uh, uh, referee says the ball's out. Oh, he's so <laughs> lifted him off the ground there. Uh, so this could end up being a maul, and if the ball is unplayable, yeah, yes, it will go to Woodville. Uh, sorry, Uni. It could be a university scrum. Um, Sniffed an opportunity there, Jared. Yeah, and, uh, look, he was unlucky. He found, he found himself under a bit of uh, under you know, a bit of pressure um, from that def from some very um, scrappy ball at the back of the ruck there, and, and uh, unfortunately couldn't get himself out of that situation. Yeah, some good work there to keep them up. Uh, is it? Can't see was, the numbers um, on the guys, but you've got number five there. Was, uh, yeah. That looks like that with his half time. Uh, Lewis, it's going to call it a day. It's flown by, Jerry. Yeah, it has, yeah. They say that yeah. time flies when you're having Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. And, and um, we are living, living our best and lives. And never right? a truer word spoken, as in the, is the case right now. Um, so, yeah, we have a we're all game on our hands here. Uh, Adelaide University 12, Woodville 6. It's very closely uh, contested. There's uh, certainly. Um, there's nothing in it, and both teams um, uh, are very evenly matched, I believe. And um, so we look forward to a very, um, 
very exciting second half. I think we'll take a break now for half time and um, be back in the second half.
And welcome back to Wade Oval for the second half of this Premier Gade match between Adelaide University and Woodville. Scores at Adelaide University 12, Woodville 6. The kickoff from Woodville is good. And oh, early error there, early mistake there from Uni, from young Will Seow. Uh, drop ball from the kickoff. He's very slippery out there, so I guess we might uh, let him off this time. But um, uh, that's a. An early error and putting put Woodville in a good tacking position here at the start of this second half. Welcome back, Ed. Yeah, no, sorry about that, Jared. Just That's trying right. to uh, get to the ball on yeah, what yeah, is supporters' yeah. day here at, yeah, yeah. at Adelaide Uni. So yes, yes, it's uh, it's thirsty work, you know. There's a lit going on here. It's our supporters' day, so we do have a bit of a crowd um, of past players and supporters. Oh, nice little intercept there by Jay Westcar and some fancy footwork to get around. The uh, defender will see our nice strong carry there, making up for his earlier error. Benny Thomas uh, shifts it off to Timmy Cooper. I uh, can't see who that is. It's uh, just taken it in. And it's a little midfield midfield bomb there by Benny Thomas. And a great chase, and he's, and he's straight back onto the ball. Was he not sure if... Yes, and a turnover too. Well, you... Great, uh, great little they passage of play there by well. young Benny Thomas here. and space here, here and uh, looks like, oh, and we'll see how's just managed to hold that in. Good, tackle, Jake Connor. good, uh, good scrambling defence there by Woodville. Jay oh, Westcar's going to have a go himself. I'm not sure if he's, uh, don't think he's going to get over. Here for not rolling away. Yeah, the arms out. Yeah. So Woodville now back under pressure. Still playing the advantage to uni. Looks like they're just shy of the line. Yeah. So thanks to a very nice bit of work there by young Benny Thomas, a midfield bomb uh, chase and... Good tackle by Lachlan. Lachlan Woodward. And, yes. And Jackal. Uh, Still there uni, for uni. Uni just inching closer. They, again, they just need to be patient here. Just ball in hand. Just, just keep... Stringing the phases together. Carrots has found himself in an awkward position there on his knees. He needs to sort of get himself to ground properly there. And it's slow ball, but yep. it'll go through the uh, through the forwards. Off Just to a bit of continuity again. Our number seven, whose name escapes me at the moment, uh, Palmer. And off to Lieber's again, young big Will Smith uh, making a bustling run for the corner. Looks like he's over. Yep, that's try awarded to Will Smith on the left uh, corner there. Yeah, he's nice, been bright on yeah. that left wing, Jared, as well. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a, some good work. He's a big, very big, strong runner of the ball. Puts himself into the right positions to to make breaks and to get over the line. And, yeah, he's very hard to stop from there. You can see uh, he had a bit of work to do, but... Just his strength got him over. It took about three, three, three or two, or two or three Woodville defenders over. It. So for a young man, he's only about 18, I think. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a big, strong fella. I yeah. coached young Will in his younger days. Coached a number of these players. Benny Thomas is his uh, partner in crime. The, uh, the number 10 who did that nice little midfield. Started this off all, really, uh, with his nice little midfield bomb and re regather over the ball, and yeah. it was from there that uh, the pressure was applied that uh, Uni have found themselves in a scoring position. Yeah, small rugby, really, uh, from Uni, just sort of playing mm. that territory game. The chase was, was really good. I mean, it was a great take at fullback, but I think it was yeah. a really flung, but, uh, yeah. you know, they, had, they were there in numbers. And it was, the quick, the turnover. The, it was actually the quick tap that paid dividends there That's right. that, uh, from that penalty for, with the uh, not releasing from yeah. Woodville. So just up-tempo style of play has, uh, has paid off for him. And that's a good little nudge, good nudge there from Ben Nunyans, but unfortunately he's not going to add the extras. So score sits at University 17, Woodville 6. Just the start that you would have been looking for, Jared. This yeah, time. yeah, that's that's exactly what we what, what was needed. Um, I think scoring first is, uh, is, was, is was going to be important this second half. Woodville had a struck back earlier at the start there and that would have put it put a little more scoreboard pressure on but uh, certainly certainly uh, still game on um, a long, long way to go in this one Oh yes 
Timmy Cooper hands off to Jay Westcar. Westcar off to Liebers. Liebers is another nice uh, long ball there from Liebers. He's, he's, uh, his ball transition has been really good today, Liebers. He's and, and another carry. good strong run, oh, really strong run there by Will Smith. He's having a very good game. He's just leaving some fresh prints behind him there. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. That's like I said, it wouldn't be the first time someone's made that reference uh, when it comes to young Will Smith. How do you find Will Smith in Antarctica? <laughs> How do you find Will Smith in Antarctica? Well, you follow his fresh prints. <laughs> that's for you, Bluey. Uh, that's for you, mate. That's the only two we, I've got. Um, that joke's No one told me I was going to get two dead jokes today. I, you know, I've, I've peaked. I thought I'd definitely <laughs> get the, the customary one, but, you know. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. From I'm a, I'm a one and off mm. dad joke guy. <laughs> uh, so you, for those that uh, aren't a fan of the dad joke, should be pleased to know that that's, I've reached my uh, my max. <laughs> that's your repertoire. That's it. That's it. <laughs> got that's, nothing left. That's it. Eleven years of uh, of being a dad, and I've got two jokes to show for it, <laughs> and two beautiful girls as well. Obviously. Oh, yeah, just pushed his luck a little bit too there. That was a that offload didn't really need to be thrown there. And it was a little bit too much uh, mustard on it for Will Theo to be able to handle. And um, in this uh, very slippery conditions. Just, um, yeah. So good, it's a, good it was a nice, it. it was a, a nice little... Uh, he found himself under pressure there defen with the defence there, Campbell, and didn't really need to push that pass. Yeah, when Tommy Price has a hold of you, you just yeah. uh, you just go just, for the just, ride just, and, yeah, and just, just try and survive. Grit your really. teeth and cop it and go That's to right. ground. Hold, hold the ball. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a um, good, good field position here for Woody. So they've loaded up the left hand side. There's not much going on the blind side, so it's going to come this way. Tim Starvas. Oh, and that's an, it's it's like a little Kyle, error there from Woodville to knock on. on. Unfortunately, yeah, he was fanning. There was good pressure there by Westcar at the base of the scrum. He put pressure out on the half back in it. Unfortunately, it, it, it resulted in, a, in not the best ball to his number 10. And uh, that was a difficult one for him to pick up in these conditions. Yeah, it was, uh, definitely wanted to test the hamstring and down mm. by his boot laces. But... Um, so I think for the first time this half, we're going to have a scrub. Just is it the first? Is it the first? Well, I, I may have been at the bar for the yeah, first one. Yeah, well, I, I do apologise if, if, if no, it is. No, I, I can't recall. There certainly doesn't seem to be anywhere near as many as we had at this, start, geez, at this stage of the first half. Absolutely. So, just inside the uni half, but uh, yeah, they'll be looking to build from here. So, got options on both sides. You've got, is it Ben Onions? Ben Onions, yeah, number 12 oh, uh, right, on yeah. this side. Sonnenberg on the wing. Young Benny Thomas. Uh, they are at number 10. Like I said, he's another one of our first year uh, seniors come up from the juniors. Yeah, he's going well. Yeah, and good head on his shoulders too for a young fella. Uh, put in, a, you know, obviously with a, quite a uh, pivotal role at number 10. Oh, yeah. Which is a, a lot of pressure on a, for a young fella. Um, yeah, but he's coping well. He's coping well so far today. That's oh, sure. and that's scrappy oh, at the back right. there. Although, no, the ref's going to play advantage, which sets. Fair enough. Very scrappy at the back of the scrum there. So this is where we're going to see a lot of those little knock-ons and errors um, as the ball gets slipperier and slipperier. Um, but, yeah, the number eight, uh, Timmy Cooper, just tried to pick that up. He was uh, trying to... He was going for an eight-pick, but uh, found it uh, a bit too hard to pick up. About ten minutes in now to the, to the mm. second half. Um, so Woody's will be looking to execute a little bit better than the, uh, the last scrum that they had. So always a solid platform. Oh, there's another knock on there. <laughs> oh. Tit for tat. Years of comedy of errors uh, trans transpiring here. Um, I reckon that's now will be now the third consecutive scrum from uh, errors straight off from the scrum base. Now that was the commentator's curse. Yeah. When I said, I think this is the first scrum. It's subsequently yeah, followed so by the second. Now we've had, uh, now we've had, about, now we've had about 20 in 30 seconds. <clears throat> no, more like three in the last three minutes, That's I would right. say. So, um, 
Here we go again. Let's see if we hopefully we can clear the ball from the scrum from this one. Yeah, it's a good shot by Woody. At uni scrum going backwards there, but that's a well, nice, nice little offload. Oh, oh Bunyan's now has just pushed his luck a little bit too much trying to get that ball away. But there was nice little ball movement there, and um, and uh, uni taking it, you know, uh, taking advantage of the space created. Yeah, yeah good solid run by Onions, so. but yeah, he was never going to be able to get that pass away. Uh, he had. He, just a little bit. Yeah, he was. He was already. When they stick, they're uh, they're a thing of beauty. Oh, well, that's uh, right. You know, he would have been a legend, and um, I would, I would have been buying him a beer after the yeah. game. But now, he's he's blown his chance now. So yeah. won't be getting a beer off me. So just a replacement for Woody's in the second row. So Mason Collins just got off, and Big Cam Fraser, number twenty-three. I think he's wearing. It's just come on for Woody's. So. <laughs> Um, tactical changes being made there by Woodville using the bench. Isn't that, pretty sure Uni is. haven't really used their bench uh, thus far. They're all uh, no changes being made as yet. They might occur a bit later in the piece. Uh, looks like so there's a scrum penalty the here for, <coughs> for incorrect binding. Yeah, they turned the screw a bit there. The uh, the Woody's eight. Yeah. Um, just had it going forwards, and yeah, just broke his spine to, to draw the penalty. So yeah, Wood, Woodville scrum is looking strong. They're uh, putting a lot of fair bit of pressure on Uni scrum at the moment. And uh, finding himself in a good attacking position now, Woodville, uh, just outside Uni's 22. Line out to come, and they've. Uh, They've certainly been very been solid in their line outs, Woodville, so you'd imagine that uh, they'll win this one. Slight chase in, in personnel with the lifters, but uh, you know, they'll go through the same calls. And, uh, from a Woodville perspective, hopefully the, uh, the result will be the same. And obviously, Big Tommy's now thrown in, so a good safe pair of, uh, of bare pulls on him. And he hits his man off the top. Yep. It's Jake Connor through to Tim Starvest. Hand, Good solid uh, the centre crash there. Looks like Benny Thomas could be over that ball again, and he might have actually come up with it. Oh no! no. So, um, down the and side. nice, Carrying yeah, well. Good Pumped strong carry there the by a big number eight. So but, they want quick ball here. The ball's got to go. Timmy's got a big cam with his first bit of action. Yep. He's going to carry it hard and straight. Making valuable meters here, Woodville, from so their uh, over the ball. So they go from the their short pods. Side again. Jake Connor, good carry. The ball's there if they want it. So a little pick around the corner, the old pick and go. Used to be yep. a Woodville uh, trademark over the years. Owen Potter Another strong, it's a, <laughs> that's a pick and go right over the top there. He's just going straight over the top of the ruck there, but still made a couple of valuable metres. Nice, a beautiful little bit of footwork there. Got to release him, the ball's got to come. Got to fish it out yeah, there a bit, Wood, slow down. Starting to string the phases together, and that's all they need to do. Just stay here and apply pressure to the university defence. Well, let's just see what let's see what university's defence is made of now. Uni. They might have a turn over here. And it looks like they have. And it looks like they might have. Uh, yep, I think that's a university player there that's got it. So, university's defence has been equal to the task thus far, and I think they'll look to clear it here. Yeah, and. Uh, a little bit of a shank, but yeah, safe. Yeah, got some metres, but probably not as not as many as you, the university would have liked. Um, but it's just at least got them uh, slightly out of danger. They're now it's just so uh, easy, there, Jared, to, uh, to try and bite off bite off more than you can chew. And yeah. Just think, oh, I'll just give it an extra five yards, an extra ten yards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you miss touch. Yeah, then, yes, that's right. Yeah, you know, yeah. And it's, uh, yeah just trying to push it. Yeah, trying to get that extra few yards, but. The most important, the most important things for the ball go, to go out. Get it, um, get it off the pitch. But yeah. um, it's got them back to their 22. Yeah, so you would feel still in good 10. attacking position. And that's a nice. That was a nice little show. show and go there. Yeah, there's no nine. They want someone to take ownership. Oh, and Potter's going to do that. More pick and goes here. Carries around the corner. Sorrell, Venter, good support again. Yeah. So Owen's carrying oh, it well again. Oh, that's a. 
good solid run there. He's uh, was a very poor attempt at a tackle there from the university player, way, way too high. But well, they've managed to turn and it over. And again, they've turned it over again, again. So, slight release of pressure here for the university defence. Yeah, as the ball carrier there, you're... Benny Thomas giving them. They're going to they're going to chance their arm here and yeah, go wide. And uh, Will Young Will Smith is um, going to make a nice little break. So that's definitely well, that's one way to exit. Henry's on the ball. Could be off his feet. Yeah, did he? He could have yeah, fit. Oh no, no, not not rolling. He was unlucky. That could have easily been a not releasing. Well, he did find himself a little bit isolated there. Just, just that was. Just, that's because he made uh, some quite a good break. There was no, not a lot of university support. But the guy not rolling. Yeah, so he's on his. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's. I don't know. Maybe he's. Is he? As he, as, he, as he ruled that he's yeah, off his feet. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That, that is very 50 50. <laughs> yeah. He certainly had all rights to that ball. Yeah, certainly uh, Henry will feel aggrieved um, you know, when it goes against yeah, him. And that's just, you know, that's something you need to really be careful of is that they've, they've got the players to make uh, breaks and to, to uh, make metres, but they've got to have the support players with them. Will Smith found himself isolated there. No, um, it's all very well to go wide and make the brakes, but uh, if you don't have your support supporters with you, yeah, it's difficult to pump the brakes there, isn't it? You know, mm. if, you, if you make yeah. that break. Oh, of course, you've got to just you got to go for it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, just some good. Okay, okay. and Sonnenberg going to put, put the going to put the burners on, although he's uh, he's caught there. Nice little bit of footwork there by Sonnenberg. Takes it back infield. And uh, university, well and truly out of danger now, back in, into their, into Woodville's half. Um, counter looks good. Oh, but but yeah, very good count, good count, solid counter up by Woodville. Well, well done. Good, Tim Starvas. There's no nine though. Someone needs to take ownership. Henry Leeplang is going to step in from 15 to move that ball. Yep, nice carry there. Carry by James Martin. Junior off the feet there, but the ball's yeah, out. Scrappy again at the back of the ruck, uh, and uh, looks like. Uh, Onions is over that, and uh, and Uni have turned it over. So I think we've got a bit, we've got a bit of to and fro going here of, uh, of possession, back and forth. Uh, the Uni now have given away the penalty. And uh, is he saying? Is he really hands in the ruck? Yeah, I think uh, the number eight there, Onions, was was absolutely entitled. Sorry, Onions. Uh, eight is uh, Timmy Cooper, not Onions. Oh, sorry, I, yeah. I, I had that wrong too. That's fine. Um, so big Timmy. Big Timmy, Timmy Cooper, our, our captain. Yep. Played for many years for university. And one of our, one of our ever reliable players of. Uh, Torpedo kick. It's going to stay in. It's all about uh, the bounce and the bounce yeah. has worked out for university. Uh, no, yeah, nice. Yeah, good, good little nudge there from. Uh, I'm sure, who kicked that? Might have been uh, Max, uh, young Mark, uh, Mark Ross, the fullback. Something you don't see as much nowadays, the torpedo. Yeah. yeah the spiral kick. Very, under, uh, very underutilised, I believe. I think... You know, I've practised it. I think it's quite effective. Probably the best part of 15 years. <laughs> I've probably hit a handful that actually yeah. go in the direction that they're... Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you'll always get the distance. It's just a question of it ends up where you want it to go. But when they come off, they're... Uh, oh, yes. They're certainly highly effective. Unfortunately, it didn't just roll an extra few yards there, and it would have been 50 22. But so yeah. as it is, it's, it's Woody's ball. They're playing it off the top again. Tim Starvust is, uh, is doing the hard yards from nine. He probably wants uh, a couple of his piggies to, to take up the, uh, the mantra there. But uh, help him, help him, Owen Powell will yeah. Go again! Go again! Go again! And again, Woodville playing the. using their pick and drive game uh, quite, uh, quite effectively there. Yeah. Backwards by Timmy. Good clean out just before that from Tommy Price. Now Woody's gonna a, a starting to move the ball Woodward, into the outside yep. channel. Lachlan Woodward with a great offload. Ooh, Henry, and he's knocked gone. it. Oh, Betty Thomas has, uh, has gathered that and turned it over. So that's now a university ball. Um, unfortunately, Woodville couldn't hold on to that. It looked like they were going to find some space there out wide. So yeah, side centre there couldn't hold on to it. Now university in a good attacking position. Caratius offloads to Dar. Good shot by Henry. Good, uh, and he's turned it over as well. That's some fantastic. Oh, no, yeah, not yeah, yeah, it was a very nice jackal. Do 
doing it all himself there for a moment and, uh, and did it very well. So, but what he's done want the ball down here. We're, we're sort of pinned back here a little bit. So just go through the phases and then hopefully spring an opportunity out there in the uh, in the wider channels. Carl's going to put yeah, his boot through it. Exit, which is uh, a smart move. And that's good metres. Getting it, uh, playing it back towards University's half. And it looks like a change being made here for University. Um, number 23. Uh, uh, Lock. Vassler. Sorry, I haven't got my glasses on. Vossier. Vossier, Vossier, sorry. Lucky, lucky Vossier. And uh, for Mark Ross coming off at fullback and he's had a good game. going on. Yeah, he has had a good game. He's, uh, he's been solid under pressure with, from uh, any of the kicks that have come his way and he's had a good few, a few, a few really good runs with the ball. Yeah, good, good carry there by own but always keen for work. So it looks like uh, yeah, Vossier's gone to wing and Sonnenberg's gone, gone to fullback there with that change that's been made. Step by Kyle. It's yeah, a nice little. Side. All about the bounce. Nice little chip Good and chase, hands. and almost regathered. But uh, Will Smith certainly. Oh, it uh, was been some solid under pressure there. Another good bustling solid run from Big Will Smith. Oh, he's, he's been fantastic. He's certainly, hey, he's had a. He's had a very strong game today. And it just relieves that pressure. You know, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Kyle's, Do it, coming Kyle's coming in and doing hard. a bit of work, doing yeah. a bit of work for the piggies. Yeah. Uh, that's what I like. Always like to see a winger do is come in and get involved and not just stay out on their wing and attack. So it looks like there's an injury just in the back play there. It could be Owen Potter. Um, just trying to know it's not. It's, it's Kyle. Kyle Witcher. He's down. So we've got a couple of Woody stalwarts coming back on. So Mason Collins is going to come back on at, at hooker uh, by the looks of things. Sam Stewart's come back on. James Martin, who's got through a lot of work today in the front row unit, and uh, Sorel Venters. Really stated a claim to the first team this year, Sorel, and uh, it's great to see his development. As with all the young players, you know yourself, Jared, when they come yep. through, we talked about it earlier, coming mm. through for, through the ranks of 18s and into the senior squad and sort of holding down the jersey. Yeah. There's competition there, it's, uh, it's really good to see. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's good to see these young players. You know, one getting the opportunity and also uh, being you know, being able to handle the pressure of you know of first grade rugby um, and uh, all, all credit to them they can you know, keep their head and uh, and yeah you know, and still play a solid game at you know at a very young age it's quite, it's quite a big it's a big ask for these young guys but certainly our, our young fellows that have come through a lot of them 18 19 year old they've all been certainly very well and truly uh, you know, equal to the task. Uh, looks like another change here for University. Uh, Evan Clark coming off number four. And Rocco Engelbrecht. So Rocco Engelbrecht on the 19. It's a change in the second row. I think with the 18s coming in, it's just finding that balance, getting them that exposure, getting them that experience. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's something that will keep them, you know, if they have yeah. long careers in rugby. Yeah, you know, that's right. It's going to keep them in really good stead. It's um, making sure we don't, you know, also that they're not burnt out too that's right <laughs> too too early too young uh, yeah. we don't you don't you know they certainly need some of those older heads around them to to uh, support them yeah and I think you know, from a Woodville perspective it's uh, a lot of young guys in there so it's a nice ball out here to levers and off to uh, the replacement winger uh, Dos Vossio and oh, looks like a knock on both ways there I think first knock on by uni so it'll be a Woodville scrum some good scramble so, there to get across. I think Adam Chapman, who uh, his name I, I didn't mention when he came back on, so apologies for, uh, when he came on, so apologies yeah. for that chappy. But yeah. Decent scramble, but uh, yeah, another one there just didn't need to throw that pass. He was, uh, you know, he, he could have. He was in a good position just to lay it back and for his supporting players to come over the top. Try to pop pass. Yeah, so Uni look like they're unloading the bench here. So yeah. There's another he replacement here. For, for 17. 17. Uh, no, no, Mr. Withheld. First name, name. Yeah. 
And there's, there's a, there's there's a lot of them. His brother name withheld is also <laughs> in right. grade two. He might, yeah, he yeah. might make an appearance at some There's quite a few of those around, I've, I've noticed. Yeah. Quite a popular name in our competition. That's right. No, it, Mr. N withheld. Okay, the solid scrum there by Woodville again. There's, the scrum has been strong today. So they got a chance oh, to Oh, yeah, no, nice use of... Uh, Nice ball at the, the last little ball at the back door there, and, and use of spark, use of whip there by Woodville, and that's made uh, made some good ground, but unfortunately haven't been able to hold on to it. It was a nice little second man play there that, uh, that created some space for him. Now Liebers has taken a nice big bustling rubber; he's gone into touch. So yeah, probably not a bad outcome there for Woodville from that play, but that was a nice little diamond formation there, and a ball going out the back door. Um, in use of width by Woodville that saw them make a break down the, the right-hand sideline. Yeah, probably not see that enough from a, from a Woodville perspective. Uh, OK, it's, you know, conditions are a little bit tricky, but the rain's stopped now. Yeah. You know, these guys, these guys can play rugby, right? So it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would yeah. like to see it moved around. A yeah, yeah, I think, I think they need to start, um, start chancing their arm a little bit more. They've, uh, they've certainly played a strong... Forwards, forward carrying game and pick and go. But I think uh, we'd like to see, you know, if Woodville to come away with this, I think they need to start uh, start using the width a little bit more. Try and find some holes in the uh, university back line. So a bit of a rarity at the, uh, at the line-out. Unfortunately, Woody is unable to take it in this time. So, yeah. um, and so that's one against, the, it on. one against the throw for university and a scrum feed. So no blind side for, for uni here. They're bringing that winger in as an extra option. Yep, yep. So no chance of them heading blind, I don't think, unless one of them's going to shoot across the face of the scrum. It would be uh, it'll be a ballsy move, but uh, yes, uh, fairly certain we're going to see it open out. Oh, and get good, pre good pressure there by by, uh, pressure by the open side flanker, I think. Um, but Uni managed to hold on to it, but uh, managed, to, managed to shut it down there at the, the half-back at the base of the scrum. Good carry there by Karatsius. Kyle just blocking the orders there, just okay. to make sure that Chappie goes in deep. Benny as, Thomas uh, is going to, a good call because it goes put, it, to Adam Chapman. put it down field. Uh, a not a lot of metres, but the, but the... the Capture of the ball was under pressure. Oh, and we've come, and that's that's good. That's a good turnover there. Another good turnover by Benny Thomas. Uh, this uh, high tackle there, uh, referee's arm is out. So playing advantage here. That was a, another good, strong follow-up from his kick there, Benny Thomas. He's been very strong in that. Yeah, it's great, and another quick tap. Part worked for them last time. West Car off to Liebers. Liebers he's, a, he's done a mountain of work today, big Rafe Liebers. Out in, in, the, in outside centre. Another strong game. Matt, Max Muzzerud is going to head for the line. He's over. Big, Max Muzzerud, the front rower, number one, um, has, has managed to um, get over the line. Yeah, it did well. Still I think he was surprised there when he <laughs> went around the corner and saw a bit of, saw the try line in front of him. I, 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 I'm not sure if that's an experience he's... He's used to Max Muzzerud. He's just normally in there doing the hard yards. But, yeah, uh, well capitalised. So, again, it came from a very good uh, kick and chase game by Benny Thomas to regain that ball and then uh, manage, to, manage to get a penalty and then um, quick tap, and, and that's, uh, that's what's led to that. So... Uh, the lead-up work was very important there. And just that tip off the pod that was set there, so you know, your first receiver, rather yeah. just crashing it straight up, yeah. he just moved it on to, uh, to your front rower yeah. there and, and yeah. finished it well. Yep. Yeah. And some of our backwards uh, getting there and doing some of the hard work. So Rafe Lever's at number 13, and they're doing a lot of uh, hard yards, um, taking a bit of pressure off the forwards. Absolutely. So we're just... Probably around just over 10, 10, over 10 minutes to go, 10, yeah, yeah. plus injury time. Um, so, University 24, Woodville 6. 
still a long way to go and uh, not uh, certainly not a done deal or a result is, is uh, still very open at this stage. Uh, but Woodville do probably need to get some points on board uh, they go, they go very soon if they're going to uh, yeah. uh, look like winning this match. Yeah, they've got to throw a bit of caution to the wind there. Woody. Yeah. It's all well and good sort of playing your, your processes and your systems, but, you know, they've got to make something happen quickly yeah. here if they're yeah. going to come out on the right side of the yeah. result here. Again, they've got good uh, union, good field, again. good field position here. That down. looks like they might have given away a penalty, though. We'll see how nice, good, strong carry. Oh, and nice, like, good offload there. Oh, but the uh, the pass was was not good. Right, oh, and there's a bit of a, bit of a scrap going on, on here. Oh, bit of push and shove into the ground. Uh, on George Caratius. Uh, yeah, and I think a um, bit of feeling. Yeah, and you don't you don't mind a bit of feeling. Mm. You know, <laughs> is it? But it's it's counterintuitive, really. You know, with the yeah, well, that, it, uh, we don't want it to uh, lead them to lead to, you know, Woodville are a good good uh, attacking position here. They don't want to give away a penalty. Yep. And uh, undo all that good work. And I think Owen, who's had, who's had such a strong game today, you know, there's a little bit of frustration boiling over there with, with, with where the game currently is. Um, you know, but... So now know, that's Owen Potter. To a certain degree. It is Owen Number Potter. eight. He, and, uh, now, is he related to Lachlan Potter? He is. He's yeah, his okay. I know yeah. Lachlan. I coach Lachlan Potter in the, in the state program. Um, uh, so that is a red card. A red Sam wow, Stewart. I'm not, I'm not sure what sure that was for, to be honest. Um, I, 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 I just saw, I saw a little bit here. of it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close to us. I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, I, did, I didn't, didn't see any. I, I mean, I saw the little shove into the ground that um, Potter to Caratius, and that was just a bit, that was nothing really, that, but nothing in that. It was a bit of a push and shove. So I'm not really sure what this red card's for, but I'm sure we'll find out in due time. Yeah, no. I mean, that, yeah, there was there, there was that, but I don't, I don't believe I saw any. I'm not sure what I. I don't really I've seen anything happen that uh, was red card worthy there, but, uh, you know, I'm, you I may well have missed it. You can't give them the opportunities to, uh, you know, to make those type of decisions. Yeah. Unfortunately, for Woodville, because, they, you know, they were in a good position to perhaps uh, put some pressure on university, and that's relieved the pressure for uni. So the one thing you would say is that's that... A, uh, yeah, that was a very poor poor line out there from university. The, like the, the, commute, the comms was all over the shop. No one knew what was going on. And uh, it's ended in a knock-on and it'll be Woodville's ball. So yeah. they're going to have to tidy that up in the last seven and eight minutes if, uh, if they don't want to let uh, Woodville have, an, have a chance of coming back in this match. So we're kind of, uh, like you say, Derek, there's still a little bit of time left, but we're kind of, uh, I wouldn't say the last chance saloon, but we're certainly, uh, from a Woodville perspective, you know, something's got to happen yeah, very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's getting there. Scores. And, and, yeah. Um, they certainly want to get down uh, down this end and down the, the Unis 22 and start applying some pressure very soon. Um, and at least uh, hopefully that will turn into a bit of scoreboard pressure. Yeah. And then anything can happen when... Uh, once that scoreboard pressure is applied, nice kick and chase there, and uh, drove Lieber's back. He's not a he's no slouch in terms of strength, so that was a very impressive move. Very impressive that he managed to drive him back. And that looks like there's been a knock on there by oh, it's a unit that's now a penalty. Yeah, so not releasing. So opportunity here for Woodville. I would be tapping and going this. Yep. as quickly as possible. They want to maintain possession here and not. Uh, Stay, stay disciplined and not give away any penalties and uh, and apply really apply, apply the pressure here to university. See, I was just going to 
just going to touch on it earlier. I don't think, to any greater degree, losing a losing a player in the type of game that it, that it's been today is, is going to be too detrimental. No, not um, yeah, and, and and you know, in in at this stage of the game too, where it's looked like there might only be about seven or eight minutes left, yeah. ten at the most. So I don't think it's hopefully it doesn't hurt Woodville too much. So thrown into the lineup again, Mason Connor. We'll be hoping to just tidy it up. Great take by uh, Vince yeah, Bracken. Yeah, another another, this, another this very weekend. solid line out there by Woodville. They've been strong at the set piece today. I'd be surprised if this comes out of here anytime soon, as long as it keeps going forward. Yeah, no, it's there at the back and it's peeled Plus away. He's taken it on. Peeled away there. So pressure here for Uni. Someone's got to take ownership at the back. Owen oh, Pod will do just that. Carries at the ten. Yeah. Loves he's, the work. He needs he's had a good game. He's, yeah, he's been. He's had, had some really strong runs yep. in the ball, hasn't he? Big young Potter. Yep. Big nice Fraser. offload there. Tommy Price finds himself with the ball. And he just does yep. does what all front rowers do best. Just continuity around the corner. Secure the ball. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, and he's they, lost the ball there. Jimmy Kirk, here. good counter here by University. They're going to just run it straight back at, back at him and uh, have a go from the counter ruck. No, Counter attack, I mean. So again, they've yeah. sort of, uh, just presented yeah. ways with a bit of an opportunity. Didn't, didn't need though. to do that, Uni. They were, you know, they've, they've turned the ball over. We've got position. Uh, didn't really need to. Um, you can see what push, he's trying but, to yeah, do. Yeah, push, push it, push their luck too much. He, you know, just had to present that and secure and uh, play the next phase. That uh, they you know, against, they just pushed their luck a little bit too much on the counter attack. On a on a dry day, on a on a not so much yeah, pitch, it's yeah, the perfect thing yeah, to do. Yeah, you know, exactly, you, and it you, might have yeah, and you may well have uh, come up with the ball. And that's right. Made 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 some more meters, but it wasn't going to work this time. Yeah, it just invites the opportunity for you, Phil. Just a quick shout out to, uh, to Space Creek Sports as well, um, bringing rugby, rugby union South Australia to the masses today. Yep, thank you, Space Quake, and thanks for your support throughout the year. We've only we're uh, round uh, what 16 of 18 now, so two more rounds left, and then it's uh, we head as we head into finals. Uh, obviously, these two teams are, are not finals bound. It'll be interesting to see some of the re other results today. There's a few that are very um, crucial results, I believe, in terms of finals positions. Uh, one being the, the game quite interesting between Southern Suburbs and Burnside. Um, have you got the score there? Just trying to bring up now, actually, scores from around That's the actually a very, uh, very important game for both teams. Yeah, so just having a look, so Burnside uh, 30, uh, 30, 30, 30 to 19, 19 so away from home they're uh, leading at the moment, and I think Certainly, uh, well, they're both both teams vying for a spot in the top four. And uh, just in the other games from around the ground, so uh, Port Adelaide seven, Brighton nine, ninety-nine. That was an early yeah, kickoff. The, yeah. And then uh, the final game outside of the game that we're covering here is Old Collegians thirty-four, on Caparinga ten. Yeah, but uh, all games still continue. It's still, still currently being played. So. So uh, not final scores, but that's where they, uh, that's where, how they're sitting at the moment. Looks like some more replacements uh, about, to, about to take place. The university, um, some some very uh, well-known personalities here about to go off the university. They've been around for a long time. Matt Mooney, former president of the of the club. Gerald Barry, number 21, and Munir Cuthbertson, aka Bonzo, um, been here. Some of them have been here longer than I have. Uh, looks like a, Nate Westcar. Uh, yeah, Jay Westcar looks the number nine. Looks like he's uh, he's pulled up sore there. He's got an injury, maybe a cramp or something. Uh, Gerald Barry will go into nine, I would imagine, number twenty-one. Uh, and he's got through plenty of work the nine as well. Know. Yeah, and will be happy under foot, you know. With yeah, the he's had a. He, he, yeah, he's, he's very been a very valuable addition to the to our first grade this year. He's come over from the UK. Uh, just this year, um, cousin of Tim Cooper, actually the the uh, captain who's been around, played for us for many, many years. Um, and yeah, he's he's been he's 
certainly been very handy there in the nine position. Uh, veteran Gerald Barry, I think, believe... Yeah, it was last week Gerald Barry played his 200th game for the club. Uh, he's now in, in there at number nine. He's just knocked it down, I think. I thought he, Gerald Barry might have got a hand to that and it might have been a knock-on, but maybe it was just a loose, loose pass. Sort of into into red time now, so I'm looking improbable mm. that uh, that Woody's going to affect the outcome today, but they'll be wanting to finish strong. Oh, a nice, uh, yeah, definitely a good chase there by the uh, number 17 for Uni through the through the lineup, putting pressure on the halfback, but it's the halfback was uh, yeah, re re reacted very well to that and uh, stepped around him. There was now, almost a Scott Barrett, Tate McDermott moment there, wasn't there? Yeah, it was yeah. there but he, he managed to. Uh, mm. To avoid he managed to el 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 elude him. Yeah. So Tommy's just put that ball down there. He'll be frustrated by that. But he won't mind another scrum. <laughs> That's why he there. did it. <laughs> Let me just drop this ball right. so we can have another scrum. Yeah. Ooh, and now, actually, Jay Westcott doesn't look too good there. He's, uh, uh, it's like he's, he's, he's been getting some help, help there by uh, his teammates. From the, the uni contingent, and, and thoroughly deserved for his shifts today. Um, uni are going to go blind here, and uh, Ozier has just kicked it downfield. And oh, that's uh, he's oh, he's, he's spilt that. And, oh, refs called knock on both ways by the looks of it. Yeah, okay, so both a fumble both ways there. Yeah, Henry almost had too much time there. And like, just, yeah, just yeah, up, just and he had a little bit, me. he had a little look there, didn't he? he had a little look up. As he was picking the ball up, and you know, that's uh, it happens. Yeah, sometimes you just wish the ball was round and it just popped straight up. Yeah, to you. that's it right. It seldom yeah. does when you want it to. <laughs> exactly. It, it never pops up into your bed. That would certainly mean a lot less scrums in this game. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Which, well, for the purest, couldn't, which couldn't be a good thing. For the, for the purest yeah. amongst us, the the guys that uh, love the engine room of the of the tight eight. There's, there's been plenty to admire, I'm sure. But uh, yes. Yeah. Just heading into uh, injury time here now. Oh, Gerald Bar Barry has uh, uh, has knocked that on at the back of the scrum. Been a common scenario here in this game today. We've seen a few of those, haven't we? We've seen a few. Um, we haven't got the stats in front of us. But, no. Uh, been a few at the base. Probably, yeah. The Woodville as many as just... I, oh, I've seen in a long time in a, in a, in a first grade match. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, the conditions certainly have played a part in that. Played a big, big Woodville, part. Wood, and, but uh, having said that, Wood, Woodville's scrum pressure is has certainly uh, uh, created a lot of those errors at the back of the scrum from university. So Tim Starvis to put the ball in. Again. Most solid platform for Woodies to build from. It's just what they can do with it now. Kyle short ball into Jason Wilshire. Good to have Jason back after a few weeks away. Just for the back end of the season. Timmy's looking for options. Mason's happy to oblige. Mason Connor. They're over the ball again, Uni. Oh yes, that's a nice. And who was over that? Was uh, Timmy late. Cooper. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Good old captain. Captain Courageous. Yep. Yeah doing what he does best and getting in there in amongst the scrap and the and contesting for that ball. I'm not gonna go for gonna the points here, interesting decision. <coughs> sure. Uh, yeah, oh well. That may well symbolise Fair the enough. They may, the maybe they just want to uh, want to end it. And I dare say that if uh, that's the case, um, then this will be the last the last play. Uh, 
Oh, he does win the prize for the cleanest shirt at the moment. <laughs> he has just come on the pitch. In his he defense. has just come on, but uh, and there are a couple yeah, of other with some yeah. clean shirts. So we have also just come on in their defence. Matt Mooney is a ten, and he's quite re renowned for not getting himself too dirty. And that was a nice, uh, nice kick there. I think Mooney just wanted to get a few points for himself this year. Um, and he did. Which is what he did. Uh, it's worked, and it looks like Uni have come away with this one, which is actually their first, their first win of the season, um, which is. Uh, good to see, and the boys will be very, very happy with that. They've been uh, working hard for this one. Absolutely. But very good match there by a very evenly contested between Woodville and University. Um, and uh, what, but despite the conditions, I think it was, uh, was, was, was played, the, the, the quality was quite good. Not too bad at all, yeah. Congratulations yep. to Uni. Thank, thank you. you uh, thank and you on behalf of Woodville for your hospitality. Uh, yeah, no problem at all. Throughout the course of the day. Yep. I know it's supporters' day here today, so it I'm is, sure yep. there'll be a few quiet beers with yep, the sponsors. Yeah, so we've got a bit, of a bit of a crowd, so they'll be happy with that win. Some of the uh, old old, he old heads uh, from around our, our club from yesteryear. So, um, yeah, well, thank you, Ed. Uh, it's been a pleasure working pleasure. with you today. Thank you, Spacequake. And... Um, uh, final score here is University 27, Woodville 6. And thank you all for listening. Bye.